Hi, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, Brad, this is actually a serious subject. Uh, we're going to go over the signs that someone you know may be addicted to opiates, which are pain pills. Right. Strong pain pills. Right, like oxycotton, yeah. oxycodone. Tramadol. Uh, I'll put a list of uh, some of the common ones down below so mm -hmm. you can maybe see if uh, right. that person is on it. Um, but um, I, I've had personal experience with this in that my, my mother-in-law became addicted mm -hmm. uh, and dependent upon opiates. And it, it was a real problem, Brad. It was a real problem getting her off. And the doctor seemed indifferent. He goes, I have patients who've been on this for years. So it's just, I, I'm hoping that we're starting to see the turnaround and that people are becoming more and more aware. You have a stat here, right? Or, right, this yeah. is a, from a, a local newspaper here in uh, La Crosse. It goes, uh, we must alter our view of opiates. More people now die in Wisconsin from drug overdoses than car crashes. Prescription opiates, not, not heroin, are the top killer in our state. In fact, more die from prescription painkillers than from heroin and cocaine combined. Wow. Opiates are appropriately prescribed in some circumstances, but they must only be used exactly how they are prescribed. Right. So I'm, we're just going to go over some of the signs, um, and, and, and I can tell you my mother-in-law had about five of these. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first one, um, she became, again, I love my mother-in-law, but... Um, <laughs> She, Say it, Bob. She, well, she, she, she's sometimes irritable, but she became very irritable, very hostile. Uh, yeah, she may be watching. Um, and and the, the family members really didn't pick up on it right away, which was interesting. They sure. just said, you know, grandma's really crabby. I go, no, something's not right. Um, the second thing, um, lack of interest in, in previously enjoyed activities. You know, she used to love her gardening and all that. She just seemed to not care about that sure. anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of a detachment from family, friends, spouses, and children. I mean, she just, she just, she became different. She just, yeah, didn't get involved in our conversations, right. and she just seemed like not, not even there some, sometimes. Sure, okay. So, um, decreased ability to concentrate and forgetfulness, which quite often, you know, she was getting older, so we kind of attributed to that. Right. Again, that's why it's really hard to tell on these because they're so subtle. Right. They're just kind of an enhancement quite often of things that you're seeing already. Right. Uh, weight gain or weight loss, she actually had lost some weight, mm -hmm. which, um, you know, whenever someone loses weight and they're not trying, there's... It's not a good sign. Yeah, it's not a good sign. There's, there's something going on. Um, this one I didn't see on her sleepiness or nodding out. Right. Um, obvious euphoria, I didn't really see that either mm -hmm. with her. Um, Difficult problems at work. Um, she is no longer working, but I can certainly see where someone, if they had all these other characteristics, can't you see where that, that's going to sure. affect their work? Sure, that. And, and obviously financial troubles. Sometimes it's because they're paying for their prescription drugs. Right, and they may be it. acquiring them illegally, not from the pharmacy. But, right. You know, there's quite a market out there for, for these. Um, I guess the whole thing, one of the points I want to make here is you cannot rely on your physician to monitor this at this point. I mean, a, a, a lot of them are very cavalier about this, mm -hmm. and they're like, no, she's, she's having pain, and, and there's a lot of other ways to control pain. We've done a video, uh, we did a video on that you should try physical therapy first on, on these things right. uh, before you try all these heavy-duty pain medications. Right, and we're going to do another video on alternative uh, pain management aside from painkillers like this. Excellent. And that's going to be coming up, Bob. All right. Boy, we keep them tintillated here, don't we? Tintillated. All right. That's good, Bob. Thanks for watching.